Are they capable of doing these atrocities like ISIS? Yes. Look what Germany did during World War II. Look what happened to the bulk, uh, uh, the Balkans during World War II. And, and there's still Christian oppression to this day in parts of Africa and places we never hear about here in America because yeah. it's not newsworthy. Yeah. So there's so the thing that took easy. place today. You know, people are thinking that Russia being there is going to be the start of the Gog Magog war. Now, I I was told something here by somebody that Gog Magog might be somebody different than what we used to think they are, and they provided a lot of pretty good facts. And I have to go through it yet, so I'm not you know I'm not 100 percent sure this is right, but Gog Magog turns out to be Italian. Hmm. And if that's true, you know, coming down with Germany and the Italian, the you know, the the great axis of World War II, that might make more sense. But then I have to look at this more because Italy's more like Babylon to me. So again, I I'm just I'm really looking at a lot of different things. I'm always checking my my notes. Yeah. So, but. Can we change the subject now a little Let's, bit? Because that's yeah, today's yeah. news. That's pretty exciting. But there's mm. other exciting news, even more exciting news going on today. Okay. At the same time, that all has been going on. Yeah. What else? So when when we were when Greg and I were down in in the Philippines, we the first place I spoke at was the House of Representatives, and uh, that was kind of you know I was I was pretty intimidated, but it was also kind of neat. I could have never done that before. And that was they Kapoor. were in the room with one of the representatives who um, I've since found out since they heard me talk that day. I don't know if you knew this, Greg, but since they heard me talk, they started keeping the Sabbath. That's cool. That's awesome. And then, then we went up north. And when we were up north, we got a phone call saying that they had drafted a bill to make the holy days of Leviticus 23 national holidays for the entire Philippines. Well, our first news of that, it was just going to be the first day of Sukkot. And we thought that was pretty amazing. It was just going to be that one day, we thought. But by the time we got back, it's the it's all of them. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm, I'm sorry, I'm fast-tracking here. Yeah. But yeah, it was just going to make one holiday for the Feast of Sukkot. And when we got there, they, they drafted it, and it was all the feast days. And they asked me, and I was totally flabbergasted, they asked me if I would go over it and make sure that it was worded, you know, to my satisfaction. Like, who am I? I'm nobody here. But they asked me if I would go over it. And I wasn't going to let this opportunity pass by, so I went, dove right into it and, you know, started scratching and rewriting. And, and uh, these four little ladies, they, they, they were... Like David to me, they were huge, very powerful. Anyway, that was very impressive. Um, and then at the very last day, uh, Attorney Jeremiah Bellica came to our last meeting, and uh, he sat down with me, and we went over it again. And he's going to help present it and rewrite it. And he brought up a couple really good clauses in there that, um, you know, because the Philippines is supposed to be a Christian nation and supporting Israel, so they said, well. If you're going to do that, why don't we do these holy days? So anyway, yesterday or today, Tuesday at 9 a.m., the bill number 6270 was suddenly brought up and was scheduled for a hearing and, um, and at the House of Representatives. That's the way ahead of schedule, right? Weren't they going to wait till February or something? Yeah, because there's supposed to be elections coming up. And there's supposed to be a recess coming here at, at Christmas. So this being passed, uh, put in, put before them for a vote right now is kind of a surprise. But I got a note here tonight from uh, Sister Tateo, who works in the, uh, uh, the House of Representatives. Um, and she said, the bill was successfully presented by our sponsor legislator. And I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. And I've been looking for it, but I can't remember her name. Was it one of the ladies that was there with us for lunch? She was at the meeting, and she's the one that started keeping the Sabbath um, after she heard me talk that first time. There was um, Rosemary? No, no, it wasn't Rosemary. She's one of the was, people helping um, the brought up. 
I'll think of uh, it in a second. Congre Congresswoman, I forget her name, and I don't want to say it wrong. Um, anyway, so what we're asking you to do is, I'm not sure where this is in the process. It's been presented. Pray. I just, I'm asking you all to just to pray that this bill will be passed. And if it's not passed, that whatever Jehovah's will is for this action, that it be fulfilled. Uh, perhaps it's going to cause other people to think about the holy days of Leviticus 23. And one important this, thing. Go ahead. Well, no, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say one important thing that um, probably would never happen in this country is um, we were over there and they had, remember that day they had a Muslim holiday? It was like the Feast of Ishmael yep. or whatever. Yep. Which there's only like 7% of the population is Muslim, but yet they can have holidays. But um, the Muslim calendar goes by the sighted moon. So they're used to proclaiming a holiday, but not telling you when that day happens until like a week or so before. So the idea of doing the biblical holidays by the sighted moon is not something that they wouldn't consider. So that's and pretty that's, big. That's one of the things I changed in the yeah in the draft so, so that they it would, would just be a matter that. of them announcing when that holiday was going to be hmm. a week or two ahead of time, which to me that's pretty awesome. Yeah. It, that is really cool. Yeah, it's so this is I, I'm just asking to pray. Whatever's going to happen here, maybe another uh, congressperson or congresswoman or, or congressman is going to hear about this and start to think about it. We don't know where these reciprocal connections will go. So I just ask everyone just to take a couple minutes, pray about this tonight, tomorrow. Just pray about it for the next little while until we find out what's happened. Um, keep it in your prayers. Keep it before Jehovah. Your prayers are like the... the, the um, the cloud that goes up before the Holy of Holies when the high priest goes in there on the Day of Atonement. It, you know, your prayers are the frankincense. And and please pray about this. Um, so do you imagine. know what the, what the next step would be? Would um, would it go to a Senate committee of some kind? Uh, probably, yes. Yeah. It's probably similar yes. to the United States form yeah. of government. Imagine what would happen if this country votes in these laws yeah, It'd be the only country in the world keeping the holy days according to the crescent moon. That'd be pretty crazy. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? And, you know, when Greg and I were there, we were overwhelmed at the enthusiasm of the brethren there to take and uh, take hold of these truths and, and, and run with them. Take hold of the sabbatical year. They're all going to be keeping the sabbatical year this year. And they're excited and they're they're getting ready and they're doing it as a group and from north to south, and they want us to come back. And, you know, so, we, we came across people that had, on their own, done research, looking into um, Jewish ancestry or whatever. There's a Israel and the Philippines group. I mean, what's happening there is just crazy. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. unbelievable. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, we're trying to set up a, a school down there to teach Torah and the various different aspects that we present on it or that others present on it so we can get a, a school going. We're trying to do that. We need funding for it. Um, now, Mitch, you got a big announcement coming up here. Do you want to announce that today or not? Yeah, yeah, we can announce it. Uh, you know, we, we, we are officially launching the new radio station this Sunday, November 29th. Uh, so put that on your calendar. Uh, come back, uh, you know, here and, and listen uh, that day, all day, will be live with various different new show hosts and uh, interviews, and there'll be some giveaways. I'm trying to twist Joseph's arm into giving a book away or something, but he never gives anything. I, away. I know, he never. He's so he's just he never gives anything away. You know, it's like so. Anyways, we'll see if that. Can I can I ask a question? Is um is there any Filipino hosts on there? There, there are. There is. Well, I don't know for sure if they're going to be on live with us. I have not heard back from that. But but there is a Filipino radio there, program. Yes, there now. is a Filipino yes. radio program. We it, it looks just kind of as a hint. See, we're trying to we're trying to hold some of these as surprises for the day. But uh, we we do have hosts from various different places in the world uh, hosting shows 
on uh, on on the new station. So that's going to be really great. So definitely come back uh, November 29th. We start at 9 a.m. Central Time, and we will be going all day. We don't even have an end time because we just don't want to limit the fun that we're going to have. Before we run out, um, we've also been invited the on again, off again uh, invitation to Burundi, Africa. Uh, yeah, I read that email. We're looking to ago. to do that. We need some help to get there. They don't have a lot of funds to to sponsor uh, everything, so we need some help uh, to get this up and off the ground. They are, you know, they are bringing in five countries: Rwanda, Kenya, Tanzania, Congo, and Burundi, all to hear us speak oh. and teach the things that you know. This these are bishops that were teaching Catholicism just one year ago, and they've got our books and are now teaching the Sabbath and Jubilee years, the Sabbath and the Holy Days, and they're struggling to find out more about it. They know that what they've been had before was a bunch of lies. And they're saving their lives good. to do it. Yeah, so we need your prayers on that as well. So, I don't know, we're out of time. We've just about covered everything, right? Almost everything, yeah. We, we'll see we're, what happens next week. Yeah, we'll see what happens next week. Thanks for listening, and uh, we say shalom. 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 For articles, videos, and updates, visit sightedmoon.com.